Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching the Tasty Pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, September 16th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Welcome back and thank you for joining us on another very special edition of Recap Wednesday. There was only one event of the Pro Docket this past weekend and it was the Cal Pro that took place in Vegas. And it did not disappoint. The big story came from the winner, Antoine Valiant, who finally put it all together and clinched his first Olympia qualification. Second place went to the red-hot Max Charles, who looks like he's getting better by the week. Third place went to California native On Win, who delivered the best performance of his career. Sliding into fourth was the powerful one, Patrick Moore, and rounding out the top five was veteran Eddie Brecamontes. <laughs> Here's another interesting storyline from the Cal Pro that we're going to cover that almost caused Hassan Mustafa to withdraw right before the start of the show. During Hassan's flight from Egypt to Vegas, he started to get sick on the plane and was rushed to the hospital immediately after landing. According to Hassan, an abscess from hemorrhoids became infected, which required him to have emergency surgery. After spending a day or so in the hospital, Hassan did end up being released and was given clearance by the doctors to compete on Saturday. Somehow, in the midst of all of that, he still managed to carve out an 8th place finish here. So kudos to Hassan for all the mental and physical toughness he put on display last weekend. The guy is a warrior through and through. At some point in the middle of watching the NFL action last weekend, I realized some athletes need the competition to bring the best out in them. They thrive under pressure, and no matter how hard they train or how diligent they are, they still need that person on the other side of the field to bring the best out of them. And in a roundabout way, I think that might also be true for Sydney Gillen. Now that her Olympia prep is underway, you can see a noticeable shift in her level of intensity. And I'm sure a lot of that has to do with the fact that she'll have an entire lineup of killers up there on stage who are all dying to take away her Olympia title. This is exactly what Sid needs, and this is what gives her that extra push. Because when she steps on that Olympia stage, it's game on. So everyone else better be ready. Over the years, I've started to recognize a few parallels in bodybuilding and in business. For me, one of the most important aha moments was when I realized that being successful in either venture hinges on your ability to be honest with yourself about what your weaknesses are and then developing a strategic approach for turning those weaknesses into strengths. And from what I hear, Vojana Vasudevich is taking a very similar approach when it comes to her Olympia prep this year. Vojana and her team have decided to really concentrate their efforts on making sure she's lights out from the back this year. And the hope is that with the new improvements, it'll bump her up into the top five territory. And with so many things still in flux heading into this year's contest, the new and improved Boyana could be in a great position to take an opportunity to her advantage. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.